What we want is for, for people to make it easy. We're stupid, it's illegal. Uh, if the price is good, they'll buy. A domain registered the day that they register the company. Hi, Jacob. Hi, how are you? I'm nice. Great, great. Could you please represent yourself and your company? Oh, yeah, I represent Hansel Investments. Hansel Investment is, a, is an ICT company in Zimbabwe. Uh, we've been in business now for the last 12 years. And uh, I think we have uh, cemented our footprint in the ICT sector in the country. Yeah. yeah, as I know, you're number one registrar in Zimbabwe, yes? We are the top, one of the top registrars in the country. You and said that you manage more than 10,000 domains. 10,000 domains, yes. Yeah, and uh, well, can you also represent uh, your population, Zimbabwe population and penetration? Yeah, Zimbabwe's population is about 16 million people. Uh, but the challenge is, um, majority of the businesses uh, don't have domains registered, they don't have websites, they don't have um, emails. And uh, we believe that it should be mandatory for the government to actually make it uh, mandatory for every company that is registered. To have a domain registered, to have a website, and to have an email. We are now today going to registry to try to, to do this big push and to try make big changes for the Zimbabwe future. Absolutely. No, I will, I'm looking forward to that because what we want is for, for people to make it easy to register their respective domains. We should make it easy for them to make a payment. Uh, we've got at least about 4.5 to 5 million Zimbabweans outside the country. And majority of them want to run the business in the country. So it makes it easier for them to also register their domains wherever they are. And uh, we are hoping that uh, following our meeting today, uh, we're going to encourage a lot of Zimbabweans to actually register their, their domains on our different platforms. And uh, what about payment gateways? Uh, yeah, we've got uh, one of the major payment gateways in Zimbabwe is called PayNow. But we are expecting that there will be a lot more payment uh, gateways that are going to come into the country. PayNow is local one, yes? PayNow is local. Um, there are others, PayPal, of course. But uh, if you look at the, the monetary policy and the way that uh, uh, the Zimbabwean uh, uh, payment works, you need to be on the ground to be a, a, a payment platform that is in Zimbabwe in order for you to legally receive some kind of payments. And that's why we're looking forward to other players who are coming in and become participants on the, on the cyberspace, if I need to put it that way, by introducing more, more and more payment platforms. Uh, about uh, local languages and about support in hosting industry, as I see all websites usually are in English. Yes. Uh, you know, one of the major languages in Zimbabwe is, uh, uh, is English. Uh, only last week I was actually pushing for local content on the ICT yeah. sector. For example, we need to have specific names for specific devices, yeah. specific lang languages, uh, sorry, specific terms yeah. for, for, for local products that have got English terms. Mm -hmm. So yeah, of officially, everything that we do in Zimbabwe is in English, but we'd like to make sure that there is also a translation into, sh into, into Shona, Debele, and any other language that is used in Zimbabwe. Uh, how many languages you have there? We've got 11 different languages. And, uh, but people in uh, support, in uh, like emails, they use uh, different languages? Or they use, most, most of the people, they use, uh, they use English as a major language. They use Shona and Debele. These are the three most popular languages that are used in, in, in the country. About uh, when people buy, they prefer quality or price usually? Or are they pushing on price? Look, uh, it depends. I mean, uh, we, we are a country that is going through a, a, a challenge economically. Uh, if the price is good, they'll buy. Uh, that's the lower end of the market. If the price is good and the quality is good, the upper end is also, can also buy. So, yeah, it depends what, what the client is getting. But I would prefer that quality is what matters the most. And the average price for the hosting, case, so it's about 4 or $5 per month. Absolutely. It's, $5. it's between 4 or $5, but usually it's $5 for majority which comes to about 60 bucks. But uh, as you need more space, as you're more interactive, as the website becomes bigger, as the emails and everything you are, you're doing becomes more, and it comes to about $120. And per. about domains, regularly it's $5, 10 for a yep. customer. It's five, between five and 10, but there's some who actually offer it for free, like myself, who offer domains for free, so that we've got more and more players on the uh, It on will be like stuff. a big challenge, so it will be like Zimbabwe could be number one country on, on, on growing quantity of domains. Absolutely. Absolutely. I think well, all, that, all that is lacking now is an ordinary person does not know where to register a domain. We need to make it public where domains are registered. We need to make sure that people understand where domains are registered so that it becomes easier.
Uh, do you feel like big brands like GoDaddy and others coming here or still still like you know I, I don't consider big brands to be to be a threat to the local market mm -hmm. um, if you look at it GoDaddy doesn't register dot co dot zw mm -hmm. doesn't register dot org dot zw does not register dot ac dot zw so we n we still have a protected market but if they do come in we demand that they come in and they partner local partners that's mm -hmm. that's our expectations and uh, what about website builders? Do the popularity growing or it's still, uh, still it's only still, starting? It's still only starting. I mean, uh, we, we, we've got uh, yourself, SitePro, which is coming in. We've got SitePad, which is also in. But it's, it's not an area that a lot of people are, are, are playing around with because majority of the expected developer to develop their sites for them instead of actually them doing it themselves, it makes it easier. Uh, what about servers? Uh, people use uh, local data centers or host outside? Yep. Uh, even though some people use local servers, for backup, they use the outside servers as well. Okay. Because as you know, we struggle in terms of the provision of electricity. Imagine having a local server and, uh, 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 you know, the bank's uh, web applications are on a local server and power goes. Imagine the amount of disaster that it will create. Today in the hotel, two times power go out. Exactly. So we, we need to look at ways of actually protecting the, 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 the customer himself. So there is the master and slave, so that if your local server goes down, then you've got a, a, a server somewhere else where you know that power is, is always available and your server is up at all times. Uh, uh, we tried to get uh, yesterday our import. So what do you think about future of the import? Because you will have a huge amount of growth of domains and websites. Will people use import like for creating their websites? No, no. Others, no? no, they don't. But it's something that, that we, we need to be pushing people to, mm -hmm. to import and then to, to clone websites so that they, they make, it makes it easier for them to develop websites. I mean, that's, that's for the future. We don't want anybody to knock on somebody's door and say, develop a website for me. We want them to actually do it themselves easily and you know, as simple as possible. And uh, can you share like your mostly one successful trick, it could be old one, could be new one. Marketing it, marketing trick that really works for you. You oh, can yeah, also yeah. advertise here your uh, email service or something. Absolutely, like, yeah, okay. okay. One, one, of, one of the, the, the easiest way to market, uh, which, which I always say to people, you know, do you have a domain registered? Uh, okay. Why are you using a Gmail? Why are you using a Hotmail? I can give you a domain for free. Yeah, I'm not asking you to pay a penny. Yeah, all that you're doing is providing a web service that is free. I, I think it's for me it's like how we can advertise American domains in every country, never in my country that are developed and still people are advertising Gmail. So it's, it's sad. Terrible. Yeah, it's sad. We we I don't know how we can convince each and every business, each and every individual, each and every organization to make sure that they've got a domain registered the day that they register their company. I just see that Google, uh, because Google search is related to uh, places, and there are some words like hosting yes. that it shows closest hosting. But still, uh, some industry like website builder, Google doesn't relate to locals. Yes. So the, the idea that uh, Google like updating his algorithms, but sometimes when you, when you do car repair, it will show closest car repair. But when you type hosting, it will show closest hosting. But if you type shared hosting, it shows Americans. Yes. And uh, like uh, the idea that. We just see this trick and try to like hack, hack this trick how, how to do because in every country then you can get good results. Yes, you know, I, I, I always say uh, one of the, the best product that the Americans sold or developed is Google. Ask yourself, if you go google.com, what do you get? You get a search engine, nothing else. Imagine, imagine marketing a, a, a product all that they do is have search Google and you can market a product and make it the most sought after product I think that's one of the best American products that they ever ever, ever developed okay going back to what you're saying about hosting of course the Americans have an identity I think if you look at uh, the American ICT product that they say is paramount at this particular point in time it's got to be Google because they've got everybody's information an average person who is present and who is alive has got to have a Google presence. If you don't have a Google presence, you don't exist on the face of this by, age. By, by the way, if you have Facebook or Instagram, in Google you're very bad. Because people said, I was in the massage, they said, do you have domain? No. How you advertise? We have Facebook page. I said, how, how you advertise? I need to go to Facebook and what I should write. 
JJS three seven JK Elliot. What? How I find you? How you, you want, share? You yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's interesting, uh, but but you know what is good? Uh, search in, uh, the the Facebook search engine is pretty good yeah. because if you put your first name, your last name, or, or your middle name and your last name, Facebook is one of the first. But pages if I here and just need a current of one kilometer around, car car repair. I don't know, massage, hair salon, everything. Yes. So I'm unable to find on Facebook or Instagram. I like put on, I am unable, I'm able to find people around me on Instagram. No, you just, can't. Just, so the idea, in Google, somehow I can find what services surrounding so, me. Yeah, hotels, true. everything. True. Hotels, tickets, like. Yeah. yeah, it's well optimized. Yeah, and uh, by the way, can you share maybe your big fail if you had one? Right, it's to convince the, uh, uh, is to convince the government, to convince the nation that they should all register their businesses and have their businesses online. That's my biggest failure. And I've been pushing for it. I'm pushing for it today. I'll be pushing for it tomorrow. I'm pushing for it the day after to make sure that each and every business has a web presence. That's by, by my the failure. Way, by the way, J Jack Ma did the same. He said, we're stupid, it's illegal because uh, they start the uh, money money system yes the money transfer yeah, yeah. Mm. and uh, they start a lot of things that were forbidden in china absolutely but he was very fanatic years after years it's now acceptable yeah. that's exactly the point that's it you need it's called it's called consistency whereby you continue to to, to push for something that you believe is correct i will also also share my life hack we in lithuania is a very small country and there are not enough of specialists Okay. good good uh, experts and we hire people young and start teaching them how to use it they grow 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 come away and yeah. what we find now we just hire best professionals forever the way they are true and uh, so it's so our big fail we just spent years on training. hiring people and training them true. and now we just see that hiring best professionals much much better true. ever through the interview we get a lot of ideas yeah and mm. when they wow that's good so Let's let's do today a big job, big big task, and uh, change change the bubble of future. True, we are hoping that after after our meeting today, hopefully we are going to transform the way that uh, that people exist on the websites, on the web presence. We have got to make sure that we make everybody know that there's an easier way of developing websites. There's a simpler way of developing and websites. By the, by the way, about marketing structure, because you manage many domains, you can spend like uh, just a life hack for you. Because you manage many domains, and uh, and the many domains are not uh, your owner of these domains. Yes. And for example, you can put the phone and the email inquiry. Yes. Like so, people can come to the like hospital website. Yes. See like telephone and email inquiry, and people feel inqu inquiry goes to your email, and then you send to them. Exactly. So this is a benefit of website. Absolutely. And, and so, like something like that, and they say, where you get our phone on the website? Which website? And Absolutely, they, be, they don't know. Be, yeah, could, could be. I don't know if it works. If you combine your business with yellow pages, yes, could, somehow you can make like, like very, 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 very good things. No, it makes it easier. You're, you're actually right. I never thought of that. You can, you can, um, you know, if somebody is looking for hospitals, you put a list of yeah. hospitals, telephone number, then you create info at hospitals yeah. dot, dot yeah. co dot zw, info at it out yeah. to see what they do. it's a very good idea or just put a form the people fill the form and the email comes to you yeah, absolutely or and just put on 10,000 websites 10,000 phones and like what the company is doing you will own all google absolutely you'll be, you'll be your own google you'll be your own yellow pages you'll be your yeah. own yeah. that's interesting that's a yeah. good idea you can you can try if it works it will okay yeah. so thank you Jacob. thank let's, you let's change the bubble oh uh, definitely thanks very much